The term pixie elation, spelt with an extra letter I instead of an E, has more to do with the mythical creature from folklore rather than blocky graphics in old computer games. It seems the pixie graphics is a reference to the magical nature of this stop motion subgenre. Seemingly defying the laws of science, blurring the lines between reality and fantasy. Pixelation reminds me of living or human puppetry, where you turn the concepts of animating something that is completely lifeless on its head, with the living mimicking the very thing that was designed to mimic them. A poetry of puppetry. In my animation, I've added an even stranger twist. The individual animation frames don't feature living people anymore because these postcard sets were sent more than a century ago, well beyond the life expectancy of an average person. And what's even more bizarre is that, as far as I can tell, these postcard sets were never originally intended for animation. In order to keep costs to a minimum whilst producing the maximum number of cards, the penny pinching issuers came up with these clever, addictively collectible sequential postcard story sets, keeping the same scenery, costumes and actors for each postcard, unwittingly providing the perfect conditions for a simple animation years later. Sounds good in theory, but you still have to search through thousands and thousands of postcards to get exactly what you want. But sometimes the imperfections add to their charm and quirkiness, creating some interesting surprises like with jazz or theatre improvisation, which often triggers a cascade of ideas for future videos. And talking about that, here are some other cardboard adventures for you to click on after you've hopefully rated and commented on this one.